Oh, man. I was streaming last night, and I was just like, oh, you know what? I, I just feel too tired to be entertaining right now. Uh, and it was fine. But now it's TechLinked, and TechLinked is supposed to be entertaining. Yeah. And I'm, I'm still feeling it. Or rather, that is that I'm not feeling it. But it's okay, because it's not entertainment, it's the news! Oh, there he is. Here I go! Woo. A number of details about potential upcoming Surface devices have been let loose in a new book by Brad Sams, a gentleman with two first names. He's a writer for Thoreau who has covered Microsoft's brands for years, and among the claims made in the book are a 2020 release of a Surface Studio display that would be compatible with the detachable modular PCs currently planned for Microsoft's large Surface Hub displays. Sams also claims, that's singular Sams, not more than one Sam, that the company's dual screen Andromeda device is, in fact, still in development and targeting a late 2019 launch, while the next batch of Surface PCs may include some AMD powered models and finally, finally, USB Type C. He also reiterated the rumor that a diskless Xbox One model and a revamped cheaper Xbox One S are coming next year. But all of this info came from a book. <laughs> <laughs> what year is it? Come on, baby. If you stayed at a Marriott hotel sometime in the last four years, you might want to pay attention as the international chain just announced that up to 500 million of its guests may have had their personal information compromised. My bloody hell, I was at a Marriott on Tuesday. Oh no! The company was made aware in September that an attempt was made to access a database containing info from as far back as 2014, and a subsequent investigation found that there was indeed a breach. Names, addresses, dates of birth, passport numbers. Why are you storing those? Oh, no. Email addresses and phone numbers may have all been accessed in the attack. The hack is even bigger than last year's Equifax hack, which affected 148 million people. Just like Equifax, Marriott has set up a dedicated website for guests to get information and take steps to protect themselves on their own, because Marriott won't really be doing anything for you. You know what? Yeah. Their mattresses may be wonderful. Are they? But I'm still pissed. Yeah. Phones with a camera hole punched in the display? They're real and they're coming. We've gotten the first real images of devices using the new design, one from Huawei and one from a Lenovo. Huawei's device is called the Nova 4, and the Chinese tech giant showed it off during a live stream celebrating the 18th birthday of Chinese singer Jackson Yi. Oh, Jackson is 18 already? Yeah. Wow, the, the years just fly by, don't they? Wow. Lenovo's device, meanwhile, is called the Z5S, and it appeared in leaked photos showing the camera cutout positioned in the center of the notification bar rather than off to the side. But then, wait a minute. What is the purpose of not having a notch yeah. if you have a hole? Because the video, it's for watching video, it's gonna be in the middle of your. Yeah, I mean, why not just have the whole notch? <laughs> It's time for Cow Week Pits, brought to you by Brilliant, the new way to master key. No, it wasn't the same. Concepts in math, science, computer science, and other professional topics. Rather than sitting through lectures, Brilliant helps you master concepts by solving fun, challenging problems for yourself. It's all broken down into bite-sized chunks so you can assemble parts of the idea before building back up to an interesting conclusion. Over five and a half million members are already sharing their curiosity and love for math and science. Plus, the first 200 TechLink viewers to sign up will get 20% off. So head to brilliant.org slash techlinked and sign up today. In fact, you don't even have to be a TechLink viewer. You could just not watch the video and just use the link in the description. It would work just as well. HoloLens is joining the army. Microsoft has secured a $480 million contract to add its augmented reality headsets to the military's armory. The contract appears to indicate that HoloLens will be used primarily for training purposes, not as a heads-up display in the field. But then how will we ever find out who the next Luke Skywalker is? Luke, you've switched off your targeting computer. <laughs> Nintendo is finally hinting its much maligned creators program which sounded creator's program. Sounds great, but was actually really stupid. 
and heavily restricted the publishing and streaming of the company's games. The program shuts down at the end of December, and Nintendo has released new, much less prohibitive guidelines. So Nintendo's PG gates have opened. Now it's only a matter of time before we get blood spatter in Smash Brothers. You know yeah. that it, you know that isn't happening. Oh, yeah. Vivo, a company now known for pushing the envelope of phone design, has teased the next two, a phone with displays on both the front and the back along with an interesting LED ring on the rear. It's a solution also employed by the Nubia X in pursuit of a camera-free front display. It's a little over the top, but uh, hey, if it works, my selfie game will have never been stronger. I actually think this is a great idea. Why do we have crappy front-facing cameras when we just have one camera and a crappy rear-facing display? Brilliant. I thought you didn't like it last No, I love it. Tired of shuffling around, getting stuff done with your boring old meat bag body? Then hop into the Toyota THR3, a humanoid robot that can be controlled wirelessly by a human in an exoskeleton rig. Don't worry too much about that. Uh, you have to be doing the movement, I guess, if you're in an exoskeleton rig, but you don't have to be so strong. Previous versions of the THR3 depended on wires, but now the robot can be sent anywhere to cause whatever havoc you prefer. The operator wears a VR headset so they can stare into the eyes of their victims as they crush their skulls. Very exciting stuff. And after Fallout 76's rocky beta, the launch was, well, rocky and beta. Uh, players have been complaining about the game's empty world and janky mechanics, but the cherry on top really is the $200 Fallout 76 Power Armor Edition, a collector's version that was supposed to come with a canvas bag for the life-sized helmet included in the box. But you know what, you guys? Can, can, can I have something? Can I have something to, to throw down? I need something to throw down. Hit me with that tape. Beautiful. You know what? Canvas! is not nylon, and nylon is not canvas, and they are not the same thing, and it wasn't canvas, it was nylon. Bethesda responded to complaints about the bag by saying that the original canvas bag was a prototype and was too expensive to make. They also gave affected players 500 atoms, which sounds like even less than it actually is. It's the in-game currency, but that isn't even enough to buy a canvas bag in-game. So you know what, can, can, I, can I have that back for a second? Yeah. You know, you know, you, you know what? People want their canvas bag, Bethesda. What's the point of having pow a power armor helmet when you can't store it in canvas? Yeah. I, I, want it. I could keep going about this for hours, but I'm just, I'm too mad. Nylon, of all the materials, I, I wouldn't even take a nylon shirt off like this. Oh, no, no. Make sure you subscribe for more Tech Blinked in the future. No, no I, won't. I won't do it this time. I almost did it, but I wasn't quite that mad. Oh.